so it's a full moon and what better place to be at than the graveyard in uh, beautiful Kringa in Istria known for the first recorded vampire in history it's called he was called Jure Grando and he was decapitated 350 years ago exactly on a night like this um, by the local villagers. They have a nasty habit of decapitating folks if they bother them uh, and so I won't be too loud and I'll be leaving soon. <laughs> I was spending a few days in Istria for business during the All Saints Day, so what better way to spend the night of a full moon than to visit one of the most special graveyards in the country. Kringa is a small village in central Istria. With a population of only 300, this quiet place is home to one of the most eerie legends in all of Europe, the story of Jure Grande. My first stop was the graveyard, although this was not the historic graveyard Jure was buried in. Quite cynical on a night like this, nevertheless. According to the legend, Yure died in 1656, but was still causing chaos for the next 16 years. Every night, the villagers would hear knocks on doors throughout the village, and whoever's door was knocked on would die within a few days. The villagers soon realized that Yure had returned from the dead as a vampire, known locally as Trigon, and that was a terrorizing village. Yure's widow also had to deal with her undead husband's visits every night. Yure would appear in her bedroom, smiling and gasping for breath, and would force himself upon her. This went on for 16 long years until the villagers finally had enough. They were quite tolerant back then, I guess. They formed a group led by the villagers' prefect and set out to hunt down and kill Yuri. They dug up his grave and found his perfectly preserved corpse with a smile on his face. The village priest Jojo held out a cross and tried to push the stake through his heart. But nothing worked. One of the villagers, Stipa Milasic, came up with a plan and cut off Yuri's head. As soon as the blade tore his skin, the vampire screamed and blood started leaking out of the cut. And with that, peace finally returned to the village of Kringa. Vampires are quite a common part of our popular culture nowadays and it all started from folk stories. That's how we got all these scary characters in literature and movies. And those not so scary. Hi. But the story of Jure Grando was the first ever recorded one. In 1689, Slovenian naturalist Janez Valvazor wrote down this classical local story that later found its way to different books and possibly inspired all later works on vampires. <laughs> Kringa is now a sleepy village, quite literal at that moment as it was past midnight. I was fully embracing my inner vampire hunter by Alas. It seems Jure Grando is taking the night off. The only excitement I encountered was a pack of barking dogs that chased me out of the village. Well, since the vampire did not show up, there was nothing more to do and I left for rowing. It was long past my bedtime anyways. 